I think that he's right. He's moving in the right direction. Because this is what just happened to me a few days ago with El Tyrosin. I have a friend of mine that he lives in India and he has a Parkinson's disease. And then he wanted to treat this with acupuncture and things like that. That was his belief system. He didn't want to use supplements. Well, finally, I convinced him and I sent him a bottle of tyrosine. And in three days, it floored down her Parkinson's symptoms that were quite painful by 80%. And so el tyrosine, evidently, that has a powerful effect on the dopamine pathway because a Parkinson's disease is a deficiency in dopamine. The theory goes that, that in Parkinson, the cells in the brain in charge of producing the dopamine have been declining, aging, and dying. And then there is less and less production of dopamine. So by giving the brain the building block necessary to produce more dopamine, in this case L-tyrosine, the brain will convert the L-tyrosine into L-dopa and the L-dopa into dopamine, the levels of dopamine will increase and the symptoms will decrease. The same principle is used by the drug industry. They produce a drug called L-dopa, which is not really L-dopa, it's similar, but they have distorted the molecule so that they can patent it. Obviously, the solution with L-tyrosine or L-dopa as natural substances, to me at least, makes much more sense. And we, I could see the results in the case of my friend. Now, L-DOPA exists also in nature by using a, a bean called Mucuna pruriens. It's, a, it's, a, it's an herb. And then um, the Mucuna pruriens is, um, has L-DOPA and has been used in Ayurveda to treat Parkinson's for thousands of years, or at least hundreds of years. So keep in mind that you can help people with Parkinson by giving them the Mucuna prurience, giving them the L-tyrosine or the brain energy formula, and uh, of course you want to give them all the other good things, right? The fish oils, all the things that we have discussed here. Yeah, the fish oils, the vitamin B12, and blah, blah, blah. You can also use L-phenylalanine. L-phenylalanine is a totally natural molecule, and it's um, not like the D form that is slightly not natural, but the L form, the, when the amino acid is oriented to the, to the left, uh, is totally natural and is converted into by the body, by the brain, into l tyrosine and the tyrosine into L-dopa, the L-dopa into dopamine. So supplementing with l phenylalanine is a weaker intervention, but it is a good intervention too. And it does increase dopamine. 